Hi everyone, welcome once again to Unified Dosky YouTube channel. Today I'll be taking us through one of the charts used in the assessment station, the GCS chart. So the patient name and the hospital number will have been previewed. You put your name in the column for candidate name, the date of your exam, the time of your exam as well. And then the next one is the Glasgow Coma scale itself. For eye opening, in asking your patients will always op open their eyes spontaneously, that's a score of four. So you put four in the box in front of spontaneous eye opening. And then the next one is verbal response. You want to know if the patient is orientated to time, place, and person. You can ask questions like, do you know where you are? Do you know what my job is here? If the patient gets it correctly, that's a score of five. So you put five in the box in front of orientated. However, if they get it wrong, that's a score of four. That means they are confused. So you put that four in the box in front of confused. The next one is mutual response. You just want to know if this patient is able to obey commands. So you can say things like, can you raise your eyebrow? Can you stick out your tongue? If they are able to obey commands, that is a score of six. So you are writing six in the box in front of obey command the next one is the temperature so for the temperature you can use a multiplication sign that's x sign so if the patient's temperature is 37 that means you'll be putting your x in the box in front of 37 and you can write the value beside it as well uh, the next one is oxygen saturation if the oxygen saturation is 97 percent just write the 97 percent in the box in front of oxygen saturation for the blood pressure and the pulse rate, they are kind of interwoven. If the patient blood pressure is 140 systolic and 80 diastolic. So you put an arrow in, inside the box in front of 140 and then you draw a line down to the box in front of 80. You put another arrow and then you ensure you put the value beside the arrows as well. So for the diastolic, you put the value 80 beside the arrow. For the systolic, you put the value 140 beside the arrow. The next one is the respiration. If the respiration is 20 breaths per minute, you just write 20 in the box in front of respiration. And then you want to be checking for the pupil size and reaction to light. For this part, you are going to be using the pen torch. So you'll be shining the light into your patient's eye. You can start from either of the high, either the left or the right. So you are going to be che checking if the size the, you're checking for the size of the pupils and then if the pupils react to light if you look at this chart there are some circles uh, be beside the chart so you can either use those circles on your chart or you can use the circles on your pen touch so your pen touch as well we have this uh, similar circle as well so when you shine the light into your patient eye you sh shine it from the outer canthus to the inner canthus you, you can do for the right eye first and then you go for the left eye so whatever the pupil size is you are going to be writing it in the box okay for instance if you start with the right eye so if the size is three so you are going to be writing three in the box in front of size and if the uh, pupils react to light, you are going to be putting positive sign in the box in front of reaction. For the left eye as well, you are going to put the size of the pupils. If it is still three, you put in front of the, the box in front of the size, you put three. And then for the reaction as well, you put a positive sign. And you want to, the next one is checking for strength, checking for power in the arms and the legs of your patient. You can ask the patient to stretch forth their hands. You put your own hands over the patient's hand and then you ask them to resist your hand. If they are able to resist your hand with enough strength, that means they have normal power for both the right hand and then the left hand. So in the box in front of normal power, you put capital letter half slash L. That means the patient has normal power for both the right arm and then the left arm. So you do the same for the leg as well. You can tell the patient to um to you put your hands over the patient's legs and then tell them to resist your hand if the patient is able to resist your hand with enough strength okay for both the right leg and the left leg that means they have normal power so you are going to put capital letter half slash l in the box in front of normal power however if the patient has normal power for the right leg that means you put in the box in front of normal power and then if they have mind weakness for the left leg that means you're going to put L in the box in front of mild weakness that means the patient has mind weakness for the left leg however they have normal power for the right leg and the 
last uh, part is for you to, to sum up the GCS score. So for this one we've been talking about, the patient is going to have a total GCS score of 14. So you are writing 14 in the box in front of total GCS score and then you put your initials in the box in front of initials as well. And that is all about the GCS chart. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.